All right, so the first thing you wanna do, if you wanna copy 40 gigs of uh, beautiful Logic content to an external hard drive, uh, is that you can't just copy the files and hope for the best. Logic has to know where the files go. And you can't exactly just use an alias like you normally would by right-clicking a given folder and click make alias and then copy this over to where it was because aliases do not alias. Aliases don't usually, uh, or don't actually work with Logic because the application code um, is, treats aliases differently than concrete files. So the way you alleviate this problem is through something called symlinks, which are like super advanced, awesome aliases that you have to run through the terminal. Now I may be asking, how do you create these things? Well, actually a better question would be where you create them. In which case, if you ask that, then great, here's how you do it. So, or here's where you do it rather. Um, these are the six folders. Uh, there's gonna be five in the system root directory and one in your user directory. And uh, the first thing I recommend before messing around with any of this stuff is first downloading Logic Pro in its entirety to your current installed operating system where Logic Pro is. This will prevent uh, any installation issues from cropping up later on and also kind of help, um, I don't know, just kind of give you a stable base and a backup to work off of so you don't have to re-download all 40 gigs if you mess up and accidentally delete like a big folder or something. So. Um, the way to get started is we're going to go just down this list. Uh, this will be this will also be available in the description, and we're just going to go down this list and move all these files. So my installation is going to look a little bit different, and but I will start over with every single time just to show you what it's like. So with every file rather. So the first thing we're going to do is go to this directory. These are direct. This is the directory on the uh, right, and on the left is going to be the actual folder name. So the first one is in library audio, root library audio, not user library audio. And the way we go to that is if we go into terminal, which is located in your applications uh, utilities folder, wherever that is, somewhere in here, or you can open it by spotlight, typing in terminal, or launchpad, typing in terminal, and you would cd into that directory. So you would type cd slash library slash audio, and now you're in library audio. Um, as you can see, I do not currently have a Apple Loops folder in there because I have uh, since copied it to my external drive. Uh, that's the first thing you want to do. Copy the file to the external drive. From within terminal, you get open it in Finder by typing open space dot. This will open the current folder in Finder. So this is what it looks like. And as you can see, I do not have these three folders, which should be in this directory because I've already copied it to my external drive. But where am I you copy the external drive? Really anywhere, it doesn't really matter. I just create a folder called logic content where I just copy the folders in. I have another one for the user location because it has the same name as the one in the system and it gets confused, but I'll get to that when I get to that. So uh, I've copied these three folders out from, okay, now this is where it gets kind of messy. I've copied these three folders from library audio from here into my external drive or moved them rather. Now I need to make logic know that they're in this other place. So the way I do that is I create a sim link. And the syntax for some link is ln space dash s space and then the source space and then the target. The source is where the actual file is. So these are the concrete files. These are the folders. Sorry, these are the sources. And the target is link. And so the way you uh, signify that is you would say um, ln dash s space ln space dash s space and then where the file are. So we're going to do this one at a time. We're first going to start with Apple Loops. So because uh, this is where the actual file is, I moved it to my external drive. So I'm gonna drag and drop this into terminal to get this super annoying path name into here. It's automatically inserted a space at the end. So now it accepts the second argument, which is gonna be the file name. Keep in mind, I am in this directory, library audio. So whenever I type here, so if I type, a, um, like let's say I type, uh, what is it called? Apple loops, Apple loops, this would not work because it is ID quotes around it because there's a space there and it, it interprets this as two separate folders, Apple loops, and that doesn't work. So I need to put a quote around it and this will work because this is one parameter on the left, on the right, this is one parameter on the left, and then this is the syntax telling it what to look for. Now when I press enter, it's not gonna work. Why? Because I need to run it as sudo or super user or a higher elevation as administrator, if you will. This allows to create folders in the root directory. I can do this by typing sudo space and then two exclamation points. This little trick, sudo is the keyword for running something as higher elevation or higher user or administrative access. And two exclamation points will just copy the command from the top. You can also retype it just as that did. sudo space and then ln s is the same as the rest. Press enter, tap in your password. The password will not show up because that's part of Unix security to kind of deter the length of the password. Press enter. If you entered it correctly, now you can see it here. It's got a little, uh, it's got a little like tail. I don't know if you quite see that, but it's got a little tiny tail to it. That shows that it's a sim link. And this kind of looks interesting. It looks like this is just a folder going into where Apple and user loops is. Uh, this is the same thing over here. If I create a new folder on my hard drive and I just 
name it untitled folder, notice it shows up over here. So this is linked to the external hard drive. I'm just gonna leave that untitled folder and repeat the process for these next two. So the way I would do that, I would copy over the two folders, Apple Loops Index and App Audio Music Apps, or move them rather. And I would do the same process, same command. Um, Lee, make sure you leave sudo. I'm gonna make this uh, terminal window a teensy bit bigger. There we go. And now I'm gonna change this from Apple Loops to Apple Loops Index. Um, normally when you drag in a file, it uses this uh, backslash to cancel out the space. You can also do it in quotes, either way works. So I'm gonna do apple backslash space loops backslash space index. You can still just drag and drop the copy name or the name in there or do it in quotes, it doesn't really matter. Apple loops and then space index. There we go. That's added the next one, apple loops index. And now for the third, audio music apps. So we're gonna go up. Pressing the up arrow will load the last command that you executed. So this one's audio video music apps and this is called oops lost it there we go and this is called audio music apps ah, if i can type Ta-da! now you may think that we're done we've copied the folders in the root directory surely that must be all nope that's only the first three now we have these two which are in the library application support the root library application support the way we get to this one uh we can just scroll back a folder Go to library, scroll all the way down, or no, sorry, all the way up to application support, and then scroll down here into where logic is, or GarageBand, let's go that one first. Um, as you can see, I've already created the sim link, but you do the same exact process. You just do sudo ln-s. Um, once you copy the concrete folder over to your external drive, uh, or move it rather, I keep saying that, then you would, uh, drag this concrete into the finder after typing sudo ln-s space, and then, Another space in quotes the name of the folder, GarageBand, and that will create this sim link. And then you do the same thing for another folder called Logic in the same directory. This is just down here. Now, this is where it kind of gets confusing because there's another folder of the same name called Logic within the user library application support directory shown here. The way you get to this one is a bit more complicated because it's a hidden directory, which means it's not visible from Finder. You could sneak around in Terminal, but I think the easiest way to do it is from Finder. Um, first and then going to terminal. And so the way you do it is in finder window, you would just type command shift G to go to a specific location. You type in the tilde key, which is uh, to the left of the one key if you're on a US American keyboard below the escape key. Uh, you have to hold shift and then press that key in order to get a little squiggly. Obviously you just get the back tick. Tilde, or you can just copy it from the description, forward slash library, forward slash application support. This does have autocomplete, so you can just press tab. Application scripts is the wrong one. Support is the right one. And if I scroll down a bit, quite a lot, I have a lot of stuff. Whoopsie. L -l 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 logic, there it is. And so you would copy this one out. Uh, what I did was I created another folder called user app SP. This can be literally named anything. This could be just named cupcake 12 because the 11 ones were eaten. Um, and this would, and you could just copy it into a separate folder. Because if you try to copy this in the same folder as the other one, it's gonna interfere with this name, the logic that is currently in the root library application support. And then logic's gonna get confused. You could rename the target in order to correspond to this concrete folder, but then that just kind of makes things complicated. Um, it's gonna be complicated, I'm gonna move this name. Uh, user app SP, SP for special. And uh, you just do the same process. Actually, I'll do it again just for you. Uh, I will CD into this directory, CD space, and then drag in the application support. Uh, just make sure I'm the right one. That looks okay, clear the screen. Uh, just hit ls to list the current files in the directory. That just basically prints out the list of all the stuff. Now I'm lost. There we go. Um, so now what I do, I just use sudo space to run as administrator ln space dash s space the target, which or the source rather, which was going to be the this logic folder that I just copied uh, here, which auto completes that, and then the space automatically after, and and then I could just type logic. You can type it in quotes if you want, but it's kind of unnecessary because there's no spaces or any extra any characters that need to be deleted or um, canceled out. Um, and now you can just press enter, and there it is. And that should work. If that doesn't work, uh, try to make sure that you've correctly sim, sim linked all of these. Uh, if you miss even one folder, logic's gonna freak out. You know you freaked out. Here, I'll show you an example. If I delete this logic folder, and I try to run logic, look what happens. It's gonna come up either with this window, some additional content is needed for the project because it detects it doesn't have this, or it's just gonna open up the default screen you see when you install Logic, which is gonna be like the downloading additional content, which usually happens when you don't include the folder that includes all the various plugins, which is the Logic in the root library application support. So that's all. Oops, now this is opened. 
Logic, no. All right, so that's all. That's basically how you do it. Um, feel free to write in the comments if you have any questions or concerns. Um, please note that you should probably back up your disk. Uh, you aren't gonna do anything super horrible unless you accidentally delete the wrong folder when you're trying to delete an alias or something like that or copy the wrong folder. But even then it should be just fine. Although I would be very careful when you're messing around with uh, sudo and root directories. So that's it. Thanks for watching and um, like, just like, subscribe, or like if you, uh, what does Lana say? Uh, uh, like if you like it, dislike if you dislike it, comment and subscribe. Thank you.